哎呀。Huh? 
これが外の世界の意志ですこのフィクション世界の全てを破壊し殺し合いを終わらせるそれが外の世界の意志なのですうん。皆さん Are these the credits? Um... I, I, I guess I'll just wait and see if... 
Oh, man. No, these are the real credits, aren't they? You're just gonna put in these fictional names. Yeah. Oh, wow. So, um, how, how should I put this? Um, see, I've ever, I've, ever since, uh, ever since the ending of Danganronpa 2, I felt that the the writing has just gone. Crazy. I I didn't like the ending of the second game. I didn't like Danganronpa 3. Um, I was really excited to play this game, and uh, you know, I don't get me wrong. I uh, yeah, I, I mean, I like the game. Uh, it, uh, it just, you know, it definitely had more of the same successful concept we've seen throughout all of these games. And, uh, you know, although I, I, I have some uh, opinions about the writing and uh, the direction the story has been taking in certain parts of this game, um, there were definitely times when I I was I, I yeah I had not been this sad since like the second trial in the second game uh, yeah I mean it, it's I, I got what I expected out of this game and uh, I don't think I can uh, ask for more. Um, I I was really disappointed um, based on what happened in the first trial. I uh, because we were I don't know. I was led to believe that Kaede would be the main protagonist throughout the whole game, but. Um, it, it felt like such a major bummer. I mean, don't get me wrong, uh, especially after seeing the performance here in the sixth final chapter, I, I definitely like uh, Shuichi as a main protagonist. I, I just... Uh, I... Oh, hold on. More credits. You have acquired the new theme, Tangarumpa V uh, 53. Employee badge. Come on. Um, you must save the game before you can use the clear data bonus. We strongly recommend that you save the game. Okay. Well, I have. Uh, <laughs> I have a number of save files that I can use. But yeah, we're gonna save a new file. We're saving a new file, because I can. Sorry, I was talking and the credits just, uh, credits just ended. We'll, we'll talk about that. That's not the... Press any button, except for the middle one. 
on the controller. Wait, what? Hold on. What? What just happened? Daijoubu. Oh, okay. ユマナさん、the killing game is over. The class trials are over. And the fictional world is over. So then, where are we? Another fictional world after the fiction has ended. What is left for us here? Uh... We were silent for a long time. Staring into the other side. But we continued to hope, and they continued to torture us. The outside world. 53 times hope moved forward. 53 times the suffering continued. The world on the other side of the fiction. The real world. で、これからどうするんじゃ何も考えてなかったよ。私はもうあれで終わりだと思ってたから。でも僕たちはまだ生きている。これは嘘じゃなくて真実みたいだね。It seems as though we don't really have a choice. We can't stay here anymore. No. But I don't get it. Seriously, how are we still alive? When this world destroyed itself, I thought we we would go down with it. Kibo probably saved us. He made sure we didn't die. But why would he do that? There's no point in us escaping to the outside world. We're just fictional characters. Did Kibo save us? Because he was acting on what the outside world wanted. Then maybe this is what the outside world wanted. Ne? Huh? Mm. For us to live? Mm. That's right. In addition to ending all this, the outside world wanted us to live. I suppose the outside world wanted this lie to become the truth. <laughs> so, come on everyone, let's head outside, with confidence. Hora. The outside world is waiting. Um. To the outside world, huh? I wonder what kind of world it is. 
A peaceful world with no fighting and no despair. That's what Tsumugi said, right? Yeah. Uh, if she wasn't lying. It might be a lie? Remember, the last thing Tsumugi said. My plan was such a flawless copy, it even failed right at the end. Uh, so I should be able to hold up my head up high as a cosplay cat criminal, right? She said copy. That means she must have been copying someone, right? What does that mean? <laughs> What indeed? What? You don't know? Uh, well, I have some theories. Perhaps Hope's Peak Academy and the remnants of despair really exist. Maybe Tsumugi was just basing her performance on them. So Tsumugi lied about this whole world being just fiction? <laughs> what? A surprise ending? Yeah. No, I don't really know for sure. She might have been lying when she said copy. Mm. But if she were telling the truth, then it would make sense that that was a lie. <laughs> what do you mean that? <laughs> What Tsumugi showed us, the way we were when we first arrived. I still don't. Ugh, I still don't believe it. I can't believe that any of us would volunteer for this. Um. We forgot everything about our old selves after that first flashback light, didn't we? That's what Smugi said. But something's been bugging me about that. Even if we were obsessed with this killing game. I still can't believe we would participate in it. I just... I don't believe it. <laughs> uh, but I don't really have any logic behind that. <laughs> One of Kaito's hunches, huh? <laughs> anyway, there's no way for us to check when we all apply to the academy, right? <laughs> <laughs> We can't check? Mm. So in the end, we still don't know what was true or not? <sighs> Fictional world ends here and the real world lies out there. Lies out there. Perhaps just beyond here is the truth. But maybe it isn't. Maybe it's all still fiction in that world, or... Maybe Danganronpa still continues in that world, or... <laughs> or maybe the outside world is the same as this world. I 
might be a world filled with lies. Well, if we can get out of from here, we'll know for sure. Yeah, but I feel like there's not too much meaning in truth or lies. Yeah, what do you mean? I mean that even if something is a lie, even if it's fiction, if it has the power to change the world, then it must contain some kind of truth. Truth. だって、まさに僕らがそうだよね。僕らはこのフィクションの世界でたくさんのフィクションの出来事を乗り越えてきた。その全ての出来事が僕らを変え、そして最後には世界を変えることができた。だったら何が真実で何が嘘かなんて関
reasons. So, uh, what I was talking about before, so I wasn't really... Uh, yeah, there were certain parts of the storyline I that definitely felt like they... I liked them a lot. Um, um, I, like, okay, so, so after one, I've talked about uh, chapter two. I was really, I was really m touched when when we saw Ryoma's motive video. It felt like my my heart was just wrenching itself inside out. Oh wait, hold on. Let me just actually check out the. Um, uh, so I think there's supposed to be like some extra stuff also. Load, yes. Uh, yeah, might as well check out the... Oh, what? What? This content hasn't been unlocked. Talent plan, Salmon. Salmon? Oh, okay, so that's like the island mode. I guess. Was that again? Strengthen your bonds with your fellow students. Okay. Train the students of Hope Speak Academy. Wow, okay. What? Draw death cards? Uh. I don't have anything. Oh, I guess I have to play the game. Was it? Oh no. You know how I am always disliked island mode or like the or school mode or island mode it is it just me or did they actually put two of them in the same game this new students in this mode, you choose any character you like and spend three years at the academy. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh, this is like the game of life. This could actually be cool. I might have to make this into like an extra bonus section or something. Uh, it's super easy. You just roll the dice. How your students grow will depend on the square you land on. So watch it. Oh man, this could actually be good. Uh, and truancy will not be tolerated. If you do not pass the goal within a year... You... You will be placed on the despair course for the next year. Okay... But don't worry about that, as long as you make the goal, you get to pick your course. Choose your course based on how you would like to develop your character. Uh, so what talent will they develop over three years? It's all up to you. Yes. Oh. Okay. Uh. I can... I can only pick this. Oh wait, okay. Who's behind the... Okay... Intelligence type, Kaito, Delps card... What? Uh... Oh... Okay... Oh, yeah, of course, you can pick everyone. Um... I'm gonna have to take a look at this afterwards. Or some other time. 
Let's, uh, what about the... What is this? Strengthen your bones from the beginning. Dangan Salmon Team. Okay. What about this mode? <laughs> Shivichi, are you okay? Hey, Shivichi. That's me. Kaide is calling my name. Uh, where am I? What am I doing here? <laughs> uh, oh, you know what? Can I actually... Can I get out of here? I wasn't really intending to... System. Um, as Shuichi Saihara, you will be able to interact freely with the other students for 10 days. If you have already become intimate with a student during the main story, you can continue that romance here. When the relationship progresses even further, affection will increase as well. This may cause a date to occur. However, in order to go on a date, you need date tickets. Uh... You will listen to many questions and worry, worries during your conversations with students. When daytime ends, nighttime will occur. During nighttime, you will be able to play casino games and obtain date tickets. If you press X while the cursor is over the target, you can uh, 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 display map, walk and run, look, strafe. Oh, strafe. I think I totally forgot about strafing in the game. <laughs> Um, yeah, let me just see if I can, um, oh man, this could take a while. I wanted to talk about the chapters again. Um, was that the bell? Kaida, look at the monitor. The gym. Gym. Opening ceremony. What should we do? Uh, we, we, what should we do? Go, of course. Everyone else is probably doing the same thing. True, but I'm a little worried about this. Honestly, it was more than a little. Despite my trepidation, we headed toward the gym. Right. That's not happening. Uh, I'm cancelling the killing game? Or this killing game? Okay. Sorry guys, I, I started this mode without thinking. <laughs> um... Okay. 
国こそはこの新世界の神でありそして最終学園の学園長そうモノクマだよえっといやねえねえムーキー I'm the headmaster of the ultimate academy for gifted juveniles. Oh, you don't need to worry about that. I have decided to cancel the killing game. The distress of milking this serious fine is make you snap. <laughs> must have a glitch. Click, click, click. Click, click, click. What are we supposed to do? Um, there is only one thing I want you to do in this mode. In this mode, <laughs> I just want you to have fun, to uh, have a fun time living at the academy. Mode? Oh, don't worry about that. It's an inside joke. Anyway, as long as you guys have a fun life at the academy, that's alright by me. You're at that special age where it doesn't take much to get your hormones go raging. We have all the ingredients for a reality dating show, you see? There's always one show like that on the air at any given time, you know. Like a bunch of girls and uh, guys and gals living under one roof getting the hots for each other. The audience just eats it up watching to see who's gonna end up with you. <laughs> That's what I want for you guys. I want you to star in your own reality dating show. <laughs> If you've looked around the academy, then you already know. I oh, can't escape. Oh man. Tenko is gonna have a hard time with this. I'm not saying you gotta live here forever. You let us out of here? The couple who ends up together gets to graduate. But uh, try to be quick about it, okay? Audiences get bored fast these days. If no one ends up together after 10 days, this show will be forced off the air. 10 days, huh? What will happen when this show ends? Maybe that's when he'll make us do the killing game. <laughs> Take chances, get messy, make mistakes, worry about failure when it happens. Oh, a reality dating show, that sounds so exciting. Uh, by the way, I know I said you guys just need to have a good time living here. But the romantic sparks won't fly if you guys just do whatever you want. The audience won't know who to watch if all 16 of you are just milling about. Okay. 
When you want to spend time with another student, or in other words, when you want to go on a date, please exchange a date ticket. Yeah, this is the same thing we've seen before. The tickets aren't free, uh, you gotta do stuff to get them. Now then, I can't wait to see what kind of a hot and heavy hit jinx you get into. That is so, so awkward. Oh, I thought they left. They're just... They're just standing there laughing. How should I spend my day? Uh, well, thank god for that. You don't seem to have to do the whole island mode or... Uh, yeah, you just, I think you just have to spend time with people. And that's it. That honestly sounds great because it's... It, it is exactly what I wanted out of this. I don't want to do all of this stupid shit before I can get to... before I can build up the relationships. I just want to talk to them and, you know... Yeah. In progress, the... How does it actually work? I think you can... I can check the relationship level. Oh, uh, okay, okay, so it is actually saved between, uh, yeah. So I still have the three pedals for Maki. And here we go. Wait a minute. Is it just a coincidence? It is just a coincidence, right? Yeah, I mean, I thought it was kind of, um, like, the only ones I actually had... <laughs> Uh, any pedals? What do you? I I can't remember what you actually call it. But the only ones who actually survi survived, except for Miyu, were people who I had uh, increased the relationship level with. <laughs> it's just a coincidence. Um, right. So uh, sorry, guys. We'll we'll get back to. We'll leave this mode. How do I do that? Uh, main menu. Okay, fine. I I'm going to save here so I don't have to go through all of the dialogue again. Okay, this was salmon fishing, right? Uh, the salmon. Sorry, I just blurted out salmon fishing because there is a there is a track on the soundtrack, which is actually called Salmon Fishing. Um, right, so we have saved, well, let's go back to the menu and check out the extras, and I'll talk about the, uh, the chapters again. So, sorry about the <laughs> interruptions. Extra. Event, movie, artwork. Oh. Cost. Okay. Um, I'm not gonna do the same thing, I think. Or maybe I should. Um, so, yeah, I think... Let's see, the first... I've talked about the first chapter, the second chapter, Roma. I, I was touched by... Uh, 
his backstory. Um, it was just kind of... Uh, I didn't really feel too much, honestly, though, if what... Um, in regards to Kirumi. I, I thought I would actually have a react stronger to uh, what happened there, but, you know... I thought I thought she was a good character. I, but at that point, I think I was just so. I think I was just was mo, mo, I, I I felt. I at that point I still felt disappointed that I was not really playing as Kaida because I really wanted to to do that. Um, but you know, as ty as the game progressed, I, I feel that um, I, I I I was content with having Shuyu as a main character. It's just kind of a, it's just kind of a bummer because I had expectations and uh, and the game just throw threw it in my face. Um, but yeah, I I think it was a good main protagonist. Uh, Kaito... Oh, whoops. Whoops. Yeah, uh, I think Kaito was... Um, I think the relationship between these two is a good one. Um, I, I kind of liked how... I mean, unlike the previous games, the main protagonist wasn't really... It was like there were several people who you you would see focus on as like oh Kaito was the like the one who people followed in chapter four or five. Uh, so it wasn't just oh hey everyone is relying and uh, praying to Shuichi. Because he's the best around. No one's gonna bring it, bring him down. Um, I like that dynamic, and it was uh, interesting how Shuichi was never really the confident kind of detective type, like you're so used to. He wasn't well. He wasn't even a real detective, but uh, I think it did, I think they did this really well. Um, so the first time I actually saw Ryoma, it was pretty obvious that he was like the oh I'm I'm like this uh, outwards he's the tough type but on the inside he uh, he definitely had some uh, he had a softer side to him. Uh, I just thought his design was kind of funny, weird. Um, I don't know what I expected, but I kind of had this... Uh, I thought Rantaro would come like one of the centerpieces during the class trials, and then he just goes and uh, gets killed in the first trial. Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess you could say that the game really... It wasn't... It was almost never predictable to me. Like, I, I tried to come up with these... I, I was just... Yeah, I, I made theories all the time in my head, and most of the time I wasn't even right. Uh, but I guess that's fine, because I don't really want to be able to guess what's going to happen and just see it happen on the screen. That's just... It's, uh, it must be awfully difficult to write stories like that. Um, I'll talk about the story once we're done here, though. Um, Gonta... I, uh, I... I thought it was interesting in... Uh, yeah, in the fourth chapter, when he, so we, when he was suddenly accused during the trial. Um, I kind of, I almost thought, oh, is this guy actually 
a completely different person than he has always showed us. Like he's, he's actually smart or evil on the inside, but it just turns out that, well, you know what happened in the in that chapter. Um, Maybe he had this kind of repetitive shtick that he stuck to, but I thought it was a... Yeah, he was a good guy. He just kind of sucked how he was... Oh, oh man. Um... Yeah, these two. Oh man. I don't know what to think. I think Kokichi has to be the most polarizing character ever in these games. People probably either like or hate him. I just, uh, I never... I never really liked the guy. I thought he was annoying. But uh, I have to admit that what happened in the last chapters was uh, it was better it turned out better than I expected but uh, yeah Korkijo uh, unfortunately for him he always seemed like this guy who you would expect would commit a crime at some point I was just waiting for the time to happen and it, it did but funnily enough, I never really thought about him being the... <laughs> I didn't think he was the culprit until... It just came upon me during the trial. So I didn't think of it in any way whatsoever. Like, I didn't think of anything about the ritual they performed. It just kind of, uh, oh, okay, so he... Okay, so this is where he's the bad guy. Okay. <laughs> uh... Oh man, why do I... Why do I remember the... What is the, like one of the first things Kokichi tells about, talks about? No, it's the question he asks Kibo in the beginning of the game. Oh god, these two. Uh, yeah. But yeah, it's... Do I need... Do I even need to speak about his design? I mean, it's very obvious who his inspiration is supposed to be. <laughs> um, I think he was a good character. Funny guy. All that unintentionally. I really liked Kirimi's design and uh, her as a character. And then she just turns out to be this really... Well, how it just ended was just, was just awful. And humiliating. Uh, Himiko... I don't think I ever thought that she would actually die in the game. She's just, she just had this very special... Uh, ...feel about her. Like she, was, she would always be on the receiving end of bad things. Um, she's like the kind of typical... She's the, this is like the typical kind of character who is always on the receiving end and never really does anything except for if she messes up. Well, you know, yeah, yeah. Maki, uh, I've always liked her design. I just wasn't sure what role she would play throughout the game. So it wasn't quite like a uh, Kirigiru, um, but yeah, I think she was at least decently well written. But I just wasn't terribly uh, uh, fascinated or drawn in by her background story. Yeah, that's about it, I guess. She's cute though. Um, Tenko... I... I... Yeah, I... I liked her. 
I was... I was so incredibly sad. When she... When she died in the... In the third chapter. Um, she's definitely one of the characters I... I felt saddened by the most. When she was killed. I mean, it was just so incredibly sad. I... 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 I there's really nothing else to say about that. Um, yeah. I'm sorry, but it was just so incredibly obvious that she was the mastermind. Once chapter 6 started, there wasn't really anyone else who could have been the mastermind. Um. Yeah, fine. Let's talk about the, the last chapter. So, uh, you know how I didn't really like the trope about how nothing was real at the end of the of Danganronpa 2? Well, I didn't really expect that they would pull something like this in the, in, in thir in the third game. I, uh, I did not like the writing in the last chapter at all. I I feel like this is it's just shit. Or I, I mean I just don't like it. <laughs> um If anything at least it ended on a positive note or something. But uh I'm sorry, I just... The, I... Nothing... I, I thought the whole... This the whole situation was just... Weird. Uh... Yeah, I, 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 I didn't like it. It was just awful. <laughs> I, I wasn't really expecting much, because I, I didn't even... I did not enjoy... Danganronpa 3. I, I started watching both the... Yeah, I started watching the episodes and then it just got progressively worse and I stopped watching it and, and I uh, never finished it. But still, I was really looking... I was re despite that, I was really looking forward to play this game because I, uh, I guess I had some kind of expectations. Uh, and there's... There are good things about this game, and there are some bad things. And uh, you know, I think, I think people have, uh, yeah, opinions. Um, Angie, yeah, she was, uh, she was okay. It was okay. I mean, what should I say? I'm not... I'm not really very... religious. I couldn't really... I don't really have anything much to say about uh, her... background... story, but... Um, she's kind of like... Uh, I totally forgot her name, but the other girl who just stumbles upon a crime and gets killed for it. Uh, Miyu... I think there's like something... There's probably some kind of reason why she acts the way she does. Um, she's just a shitty person. But... Uh, somehow I still kind of want to know what's happened to her. Because... In... On, because like you, you start talking to her, she she gives you a lot of shit, and when you push back, she just follows through the. She just ends up folding. Uh, there's probably something depressing that happened to her or something. Kaida... 
I really like Kaida. I've already talked about her though, but uh, yeah. I guess the game wouldn't really have been the same if she would have been the main protagonist, but uh, I was really hoping that she would have. Oh man. I can't even replay the first chapter again just to, so I get to see her, because then I will also see how she dies during the class trial. Um, keep his weapon design. Final form. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, I don't really need to do this because I have the soundtrack. Sun edition. Uh, yeah, there we go. Salmon fishing. Yeah, there's a few. I think there's a few tracks here which are not on the soundtrack. Direction edition. Oh, I don't think I have this one. Oh no, that's that that one. Space edition, dawn edition. Okay. Not unlocked. Casino. Intimacy event. What? Hey, what now? Uh, okay. What? Okay, I have to unlock the scenes. Miyu Irima. Okay, I see. I see. Return to the main menu. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a break and we will take a look at the these other games some other time. But uh, yeah, I mean overall I thought it was an enjoyable game. Uh, some chapters were less enjoyable than the others, and some chapters I... I don't know, if I have to summarize it, I guess the story felt like it was all over the place. But, um... <sighs> I'm just glad I, f I finished the game. Uh, I, I think, I mean, despite what I think about the story, I think it was at least worth to... play the game. I think the director said that he will not make any more Danganronpa games. So uh, if uh, so unless someone else actually continues the series. But I don't think they're even going to make any more games, but you know, it's a very popular series, so it will probably return in some form or the other. Probably. But yeah, it, this is not quite the end, because we will take a look at the other sec uh, extras. So uh, I will be back sometime in the future to take a look at these... Uh, what do you call them? Extra modes or something. So yeah, thank you. Thank you for watching, and I hope that you I hope that you enjoyed this playthrough. I uh, um, I don't really want to rate this game, but I thought it was enjoyable for the most part. There was just a lot of emotions going around, and uh, I. Uh, you know, despite all of the things that I've said, I still enjoy the game. Uh, it's just not the best store of writing I've ever seen. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I, I think you should definitely play this game if you haven't. And, uh, I mean, I mean, when I play these games, I at least assume that, or hope that, 
anyone who bothers watching my playthroughs have actually played the games themselves. Because it would really suck if you never played these games yourselves and just watched playthroughs of it. Because I feel like these are the kind of games you have to experience yourself, too. Uh, at the very least. But that's just uh, me. So yeah, hope that you have enjoyed this playthrough, if you have watched until the end, or if you've, you've just watched uh, this one, this video. So uh, yeah, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you around in the future. Take care.